Welcome to a little IT consult where we teach students and professionals how to analyze data with Power BI, SQL, and Excel. We also train them on how to use Microsoft Office tools such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and the rest very effectively to boost your productivity. In today's training, we're going to look at how we can use Microsoft Power BI to create event tracker as you see on the screen. And this is what this event tracker is going to do. So it is going to give us visibility of how many events are currently running. And out of this event, how many of them are coming from the various department so you can filter Per department and we know that okay 30 of these events have been handled by the data science department and we may also want to find them by their engagement year so how many of these engagement were being done in 2019 and 2022 and also among others now apart from this we see that this event have been done by two organizations so we have Afrobank and Ghana Bank. So you may want to see out of this hundred, how many of them are being handled by um, the Ghana Bank. And you see that that is 65. So you can click to also um, hide that. And we have this chart that shows this engagement or the event by the status. So what is the percentage of completion? what is the percentage of ongoing percentage of planning and those that are about to start we also have some returns so trying to know out of this event what were the people reaction to this event was it good that is excellent were they saying they were manageable did they rate it well or it is about to be rated and also for each of the engagement who were the leads who started this engagement and some information about each of these engagement also we have this plan period that tells us which quarter was it done in quarter one quarter two or other uh -huh. so this kind of gives us a visibility whether you are the manager you are the boss trying to manage this engagement it helps you to know how many how are we doing are we meeting our target are we not meeting it what are the steps that we need to do as an organization to be able to make sure that all the plans that we had in mind to do we are able to achieve and this idea can be transitioned into all other aspects of um, our economy whether healthcare whether businesses whether you're working in petroleum company or any other um, organization you can apply this I think the question that comes is Excel is very powerful so why are we now learning Power BI so Power BI is also an advanced tool that help us to analyze data so I can always say that Excel is very good for most data analytics as most of these analytics and cleaning can be done with Excel yet Excel cannot handle a data set that is beyond 1,000 um, 1 million routes so if you have a data like you are working with telecom like Vodafone, Airtel, Tigo, MTN and the rest that generate huge um, tons of data transactions within a day you realize that using um, Excel to analyze these large volumes of data would be very difficult to do that so it provides some integration so here you can get data from all these sources you can get data from database and the rest so you can do live connection you connect your power bi to the database so the data will be um, taken directly from the database without you downloading and installing so this provides um added advantage that excel cannot do and you realize that there are so many visualizations visuals that you can use here chat and a whole lot of things and this dashboard is very interactive and that is one thing that power bi does not to say you can't use excel to do power query um and pivot tables and pivot charts in excel 
can equally do a great job just that you will not get the, the, the visuals and its interactions as you can have in Power BI so that's just a, a quick overview of that and my name is Ernest and I'm going to be the lead trainer for this session great now after going through this dashboard how do you start how do you navigate probably you don't even have the Power BI installed so if you want to install the Power BI just press the window button um, on your keyboard and search for Microsoft Store so mine is just here or if yours is not popping up you can just write Microsoft Store and it's going to open Microsoft Store for you so once Microsoft Store is open you come to this search your app here and search for Power BI and once you search for Power BI and open this is going to open Power BI for you and if you don't have it installed you see get here as I when I hover on the free I see get and I just click on it to download and because I have it downloaded I don't want to go and do it again so once you click on this to download that is all it's going to install and um, it will download it then after that it will be installed on your machine also for you so basically that is what you can do as a starting point and after you're done you come to our website elotechitconsult.com and when you come to our website we have several tabs i think this one you can get to know, learn more about us what we do some of the courses that we offer and a lot of others i think that that's not the focus of this meeting now so you go to resources whether you see resources or you see training here i think at the time of recording this resources and i'm going to change this to training since we do free training and pay training so another free training sessions you will see a link to assess all the training resources and if you click on this link you realize that all the files that we are working on here you see all of them here right so this is the data source that we are going to do and this is also a final one this is the one after we completed the entire so click on this data source if you click on this data so you realize that we have event tracker training so this is the power bi file so this is the file this file that i'm using as demo for you this is the file that you can have access to this file for free and also play with it to help you to see what you should do about it and probably get the dashboard like what i did and you're going to go through the same thing together so don't worry once you click on this um it will open it in google sheet for you and when you get it in google sheet you just forget about the format and just explore the data together you will realize that the column b has the event title department and the plan period all of them together and that is not what we want right we may want to split have the event title in one column let's say b have the department in the different column like c had a plan period in d before we have these organizations whether they are ghana bank or afri bank among others you can also see that the event date this is not date this is showing as normal test or numbers and we're going to change all the things to proper date like we will pick the year even from that and others so this is where what we call power query comes in and microsoft power query is what we use for all the data cleaning so before we go into power query the first step is to click on the file tab here and when you click on the file you go to download and under the download section you click on download here and this is going to download the data source for you here so when you go to your downloads or your recent probably when you finish you click on here window and it will show you where the data will be downloaded so this is how mine I see mine and there so you can also um, do that based on how and where your stuff goes to so after we have downloaded this let me show you this that we working with um where the data this data we working with 
you can you see the power bi in both excel so if you go to the data tab and you go to get data and you go to workbook this is going to open power bi editor for you uh, sorry power query editor in case you are working with excel so what i mean is excel has that functionality of what we are going to do today so excel has the power query editor that helps us to do all the data cleaning like what we are going to do so we're going to transform this data and we will see so this is the power query editor and this is where we do all the data cleaning so this feature is also in power bi so i don't want you to spend much time trying to do it here before we take it to power bi if you have power bi installed if you don't have it installed you can play around here learn follow as we do all the cleaning and for this training i'm not going to show you how you do this in excel we're going straight into um power bi okay so now if it's your first time opening um opening it so that's what i want you to do so you search for power bi you search for power bi that you installed and if you click on power bi here um it's going to open the power bi and this is how it will look like so you get um it'll come like this you see you see an interface like what i've showed you here so that's what we will see and if you are using the current version that is 365 and the rest you realize that this um the data source will be hidden you click the drop down here then you click on blank report to open um the power bi so this is how the power bi look like we will go proper into the features very soon and now what i want you to do is to go to the data transform section click on transform data right and this is going to transform this is going to open the same power query editor that i open in microsoft excel for you so yeah we don't have any data here so you go to new source and you click on excel workbook that's where the data is coming from and if we go to where we downloaded it from i think i did the I downloaded this recently so let me pick that one instead of the one i used so once i come here it's going to connect the data source for us and it's going to open the pane as we saw in excel so see we have two things here we have okay so we click on okay just to see the data all right so this is going to open it in in power query for us so this is basically what we saw when we use that in excel so this is the first part of the video and the second part i'm going to show you how we do most of the cleaning using power query so stay tuned and let's meet again in the next video